Okay, good morning, everybody. Happy hump day. We're gonna try this again because I think I, I had another video, but it didn't seem like it was uh, going live. So we're gonna try it again. <laughs> hope, you, uh, hope you're ready. We're gonna talk about some soul growth and diving in, jumping in, and really just uh, finding out where is our path? Where are we going? Good morning, Ivana. Nice to see you. Uh, before we get started, though, I have to tell you, Stan and the crew are going crazy. I don't know if there's a, a little little extra vitamins in the seed, but they're all going nuts. Good morning, Deanna. Nice to see you. Hi, Cindy. Good morning, everybody. There we go. Hi, Amanda. Good morning. Mm. So I have some laundry that I want to hang on the line, but every time I <laughs> every time I go out, the squirrels come right up, and I'm like, oh my goodness! So I come back in, they're holding me hostage. <laughs> Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you all coming in. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. Everybody got your cup. Everybody ready? Good morning, Alicia. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Laura. Good morning. Oh, I love seeing everybody come in. This is what I thought. The other one wasn't working. Good morning, Connie. So, getting the hair did today, so I can't wait. <laughs> Tomorrow, going to be a whole new do. Good morning, Jeffrey. So nice to see you. I was just thinking of you the other day. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to talk about soul growth, all right? Good morning, Dawn and Leanne. Um, hi, Lee. Good morning, Kelly. So we're gonna talk about soul growth. Um, here's the thing, you know, through our life, we, we all have these experiences. Some are amazingly positive, some are um, discouraging, disappointing, some are just downright traumatic, right? We have these various uh, experiences throughout our own life. You know, you fall in love, someone doesn't love you back. Um, you lose someone you care about very deeply, or you get that job that you've always dreamed of, or you get that graduation, that diploma that you really worked hard for, or that promotion. So there's all of these experiences that we have throughout our life, and we tend to judge or rate them whether or not they're good or bad, right? And it's it's really kind of funny because good morning good morning Karen good morning Thea we tend to hold on to the negative ones much longer and much stronger and allow those negative experiences to get us stuck right you tend to get stuck in the negative but you don't really allow yourself to marinate and excel in the positive right you, you kind of get that positive experience and then it's overdone and you move forward but yet when you have that negative experience, you know, we, we may sit in it and, and marinate in it and, 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 you know, have that grief in it, right? Good morning, Svetlana. Good morning, Gordon. So when we have these experiences, they're all part of our soul growth. Um, they're all part of what are we going to learn? What are we going to take away from it? Um, what are we going to, exactly, Kristen, what are we going to take away and then use it for our next lesson, so to speak? Um, rather than allowing the negative experiences to get us stuck and rather than just dismissing the positive ones as well. Or just the mindset that we have. Oh, I really like this person, but... I doubt they're like me back, right? Good morning, Georgian. Um, just all of these things that we tell ourselves. So the soul growth is is really important. Uh, you know, we come into this physical, and we come in, I, I believe, with uh, some lessons, a list of lessons, and and we may not be savvy to what all those lessons are, right? Um, and we may uh, we may. Uh, not be privy to the information, uh, at least on a conscious level. So we go through this experience in the physical world that we call life, and we go through these uh, ups and downs, these different and various experiences. But each of them really does teach us something. No matter how bad or negative or traumatic or positive, 
each experience really builds on that soul growth. And when we can really invest in those lessons, really say to yourself, what did I learn? What did I take away from this? What am I uh, here for? Um, what is the next step? And when we really look at that, we'll see that even the most negative experiences we've had really lead to something that we've learned, right? And may even lead to something good. You may even say, whew, I escaped one there, right? You, you thought it was the love of your life. You thought it was the most amazing person, would have married them. And then years later, you go, oh my goodness, thank goodness that didn't uh, manifest itself because I would have been really unhappy because I didn't know myself well enough. So with each lesson that we have, we tend to start to learn who we are. What do we want? Uh, what do we like? What do we not like? Who do we like? <laughs> Who do we not like? <laughs> now, with each experiences, uh, with each experience we have, uh, it is about doing that work within, doing that soul homework, doing that lessons within ourselves, um, rather than constantly reaching out for the magic answer, reaching out for someone to say, fix it for me, right? It's a, what can we fix within ourselves? What can we learn and grow within ourselves so that that soul growth is important? There's a lot of times too, mediums say this a lot, uh, and it's very true, I, I, I couldn't agree with this more. Mediums say, you know, part of doing the work of mediumship and, and intuitive work is that you constantly have to work on yourself, which is very, very true. Um, you absolutely do. But I, I believe that all of us are really here, that this whole experience in the physical realm is so that we can work on ourselves. So, um, so that's what we can do, right? And um, that's what we can do with ourselves, right? And what we can do with this path and with what we're learning and what we're growing is to say, what can I take away from this experience? You know, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm developing, uh, looking at my stuff, what is my stuff, right? What is uh, the stuff of other people? Um, you know, we talked about projections earlier, but all of these experiences are part of that soul uh, things. So Andy, I'm going to, um, I'm going to delete those comments because this really isn't about self-promotion. This is really about an inspirational talk. So if you're just trying to tune in and listen in, that would be really helpful. Okay. Um, hi Catherine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So look at where you are. Um, but also look, look at through your life. Look at where you've been. Look at uh, where you started on your journey. How many of you are an absolutely different person today than you were 10, 15, 20 years ago, right? That is soul growth, right? Most of us find ourselves at least in a better uh, mental state or understanding or how to deal with things a little differently than we did when we were younger, right? But if we didn't have those experiences, our soul wouldn't grow and we wouldn't learn. So we are learning. Good morning, Laurel Ann. Good morning. So part of this journey here is not just what's the best job I can have, how much money can I make, how big of a house can I have. It's about what is my soul learning? What is my soul here to do? So... Good morning, Jennifer. Yeah, and how am I understanding things differently, looking at things differently? Am I building patience? Am I building um, more understanding? Am I kinder than I were, or am I more jaded than I was? <laughs> so going in to say, where is my soul growing? And in order for us to do that, we also must tap into the higher self, our higher self. It's not just this physical realm experience, right? It's not just this one. Oh, thank you, Julie. It's not just this experience. 
It's one with the higher self as well, going inward, asking yourself those tough questions, asking yourself the place of what else can I learn? What is this meant for me? Um, where, where is my next step? And then listening to it. That's the other tricky part. Sometimes we, want, we don't want to listen. But at the end of the day, our soul is here to learn, to grow, to... Uh, uh, oh, a big house isn't... I'm, I'm telling you, Thea, I think if someone were to give me a key to a big house, I'm not going to say no. All the more coffee. <laughs> All the more stands to house. <laughs> um, but ask yourself on this journey, you know... Are you doing the soul homework? Are you being honest with yourself, right? And are you uh, being realistic with your behavior and your actions and reactions? Um, you know, what is the one thing that you find yourself always wanting to work on, right? Mine is patience. <laughs> I'm always working on patience. Uh, being an Aries, being from New Jersey, whew, you know, I work on patience. Um, but what do we all work on? Do we work on not getting in our own way? Do we work on helping others more? Do we work on expanding our heart, opening our heart more? Um, all of us, every single one of us can probably love more, right? Every single one of us can probably find ways to build our boundaries a little better, right? And um, so there's all of these things for each of us. What is the source within yourself telling you? And it is working on that. See, paying attention to the intuition. I love that, Catherine. One of the things, too, I will say, and maybe I'll make this a coffee with Colby tomorrow if I remember. <laughs> I get these inspirations from spirit, and then I forget what they were. Um, but, yeah, how to listen to that intuitive hit. And a lot of times it's after the fact that you recognize that it was an intuitive hit. But that's how you start to learn and catch on, right? So good morning, Susan. So within your within your day to day, you know, take a moment of breath, take a moment of silence, take a moment of uh, peace from within, and say, you know, what has my soul learned? Where has my soul grown? And where would um, where does my higher self, source, spirit? want me to grow, want me to learn, because each of us has this ability to find it within, to grow within, to find ways to um, leave out all the excess noise, all the excess uh, material things that we're holding on to, and to find those lessons, to find that growth within, to find that power within, to find that kindness from within to find that understanding and working on ourselves rather than projecting on others and these lessons that we are here for these lessons that we learn um, is is important for the path that we are on every single one of us has this ability um, for this greatness because the greatness is already within us, right? The greatness is already here. We just have to be kind of willing to peel back the layers, peel back what is getting in our way, peel back our own mind thoughts and, and all this gibberish that we do and truly just connect to our soul. And when we find that path, when we find that true connection, we will be guided and we will find that direction that allows that soul growth to take us to pretty some amazingly beautiful places. And so that is our inspirational talk for today. I hope you enjoyed. Now, tomorrow on Live with Colby Rebel, I have an amazing uh, spiritual medium on Janet Novahek. She is going to be on. She is a reverend as she's an old Catholic nun, uh, Roman Catholic nun, actually. And she is actually, um, 
an amazing evidential medium as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun chatting with her. I'm really looking forward to it. I want you all to have a beautiful day. Have a blessed day. Have a day in which you take a moment to tune in. Take a moment to connect within and uh, wishing you all the best. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.